I get asked a lot of questions about what does the rib scar look like when you're having a rhinoplasty where we need to take rib? And so what I want to do is spend a few minutes mentioning that it's very small, probably about the width of a thumbnail, and they can heal beautifully. And they go right in the crease of the right, uh, right in the lower breast area. Uh, whether or not uh, the patient has, if it's a female with implants or not, or a male, we go at the bottom right of the crease. So let me show you a few photos so you'll see what these incisions look like. So here's some of the incisions. Here's one right now, it's about a month old, a little red, but very small. There's another one right here, you can barely see it, right in that area. One right here, one right there, a little fine white line. Uh, there's somewhere in here also. I'll show you a few more. Darker skin right there. Fine white little line there, there. Hope that helps in regards to really what the rib scar looks like. And also, it's so important to make sure that while you're seeing the doctor, any doctor you go to about rib harvest, why do they need it? What's the difference? And the biggest thing is usually with a nose where you need a lot of cartilage, whether it's revision or you're building up the dorsum, usually the rib has sufficient cartilage. Where you need something strong, it's a lot better than ear cartilage, which is too soft and flexible and not a lot of volume. But most of the time in these rhinoplasties, the septum inside the nose has already been used, so we need cartilage. And that's why we use rib.